How's it going, everyone? It's time once again to find some more goofs in Thomas and Friends. Today's episode is James Learns a Lesson. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so at the beginning of the episode, we we're introduced to James, the newest engine on the island of Sodor. So far, James has enjoyed his stay on the island. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, I mean... I was almost scrapped in the last episode. Well, you did get into a lot of trouble in the last episode. But look, Sir Topham Hat has something to say to you. Puh, this ought to be good. You can pull coaches or freight cars quite easily, but you must learn by your mistakes. Oh. Although James had a bad first day, Sir Topham Hat is willing to forgive him, so long as he's more careful in the future. But hang on a second. If the last episode was James's first day on Sodor, then why has he been seen in every every single episode leading up to this one. I mean, it's not like he's just hanging around the sheds, he's actually doing a lot of hard work. Not only did they have him pulling passenger trains, but they also had him pull freight cars. <laughs> to say that James's first day happened in the last episode is absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry, huh? James, but that is definitely a goof. <laughs> and to think I did all that hard work. Anyway, as the episode continues, Sir Topham Hat gives Edward and James their first job of the day. Their job is to pull a passenger train together. I'm really a splendid engine, he thought. Unfortunately, James gets a little too cocky, and he weeshes a bunch of steam. Weesh! This results in Sir Topham Hatt's hat getting all wet. What a terrible first impression, James. <laughs> to make matters even worse, after the conductor blows his whistle, James tries to leave the station as fast as he can. Go on, go on, he puffed to Edward. This makes Edward and the coaches very upset. But James doesn't care, he's just way too impatient. Don't go so fast, don't go so fast. But James didn't listen. James certainly did not listen. In fact, when they made it to the next station, James was going so fast that they couldn't even stop in time. They ended up having to back up the train so that the passengers could get off on the platform. And here comes some more goofs. As Edward and James approach the station, we see Thomas off to the side. Hello James, said Thomas. Feeling better? That's good. As soon as Edward and James stop, Thomas sets off with Annie and Clarabelle. But watch closely as he leaves the station. And he puffed off in port. Clarabelle is facing the wrong way. <laughs> in the next scene, James and Edward pass the field where James was in a terrible accident. Now listen closely. The fence was mended and the cows were back again. The narrator says that the fence was mended, but there was never a fence there to begin with. <laughs> The fence was mended and the cows were back again. Finally, Edward and James make it to the last station. At this point, James is worried about what Sir Topham Hatt will say about his ruined hat. Then Edward and a nervous James head back to the sheds. The next morning, James was in big trouble. If you can't behave, I shall take away your red coat and have you painted blue. The thought of being painted blue scared James to death. But instead of just listening to Sir Topham Hatt, James just gets angry and he shoves the coaches as hard as he can. The coaches are Don't talk! Come on! Needless to say, the coaches are not happy with the way James is treating them. And the passengers at the station were terrified. But this only makes James more angry. I'll show them, he thought. And here comes the next goof. When James passes by, we can clearly see that he put the brake coach right in the middle of the train. <laughs> The brake coach is supposed to be at the back of the train. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Trying to go as fast as Gordon, James pulls the coaches very roughly. The coaches beg James to slow down, but James just won't listen. We're going to stop! We're going to stop! Just as the coaches predict, James comes to a stop. Now here comes another goof. Shortly after coming to a stop, James' driver and fireman go to see what the problem is. After their inspection, they discover that James' rough treatment has caused a leak in the coach's pipes. But hang on a second. Something's not right here. Moments ago, we saw one of the crew members had blonde hair. But when the crew members go to inspect the broken pipe, none of them have blonde hair. <laughs> James knows that Sir Topham Hatt will be very cross. After the crew inspects the damage, the guard recommends to plug the leak with newspaper and a leather boot lace. Unfortunately, none of the crew members have a leather boot lace, so they ask a passenger to borrow his boot lace. I won't! The guard then tells the man that if they don't get a leather boot lace, James isn't going anywhere. 
This makes the passengers very upset. Not only were they mad with James, but they were also mad with the man. Then they told the man how bad he was instead. Finally, after all the backlash, the man decides to give up his boot lace. This allows the crew members to temporarily fix James's pipe leak, allowing James to continue on with the journey. Now here's something else I noticed. Listen to how James sounds puffing right now. Now look how fast he's going and his chuffing sounds exactly the same. Given how fast James is going, his chuffing should sound a lot faster than this. And that concludes the end of the episode. Alright guys, so those were all the goofs that I found in James Learns a Lesson. This episode really didn't have that many goofs in it. But having said that, if you saw a goof that I didn't point out, please leave a comment below and let me know. Again, thanks for watching this video, and remember guys... Look out for the train!